Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, decided to put in a mini split, run it off the solar system. Um, did a lot of research and decided to go with this one. And I was going to get it from Amazon, but I thought if there's a problem, it's hard to return the things. And Home Depot had it for the same price. So I decided to get it there. Figured if I had a problem, it'd be easier to uh, deal with them. <clears throat> and I'm already concerned because it looks like the top of the box is oil soaked. Hopefully it's from the one that was sitting on top of it and not mine. But I guess we'll find out when we open it up. Now I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step, uh, installation of this thing. There's lots of videos on that, but I will keep you informed as I go along. So, get it opened up and see what she looks like inside. The windmill's been sitting, you know, the lights haven't turned for two days. And uh, one little video today, and of course, the wind blows. Now we're looking all right, I don't see no oil. So I'm guessing that that was from the other one. So, here's the uh, high pressure line. There's a low pressure line. I gotta go chase the bag. I'm gonna go over to the neighbors. I'll be back. Alright, well, doesn't have to run too far. So, we got another bag here. See what's in this one. So it must be the drain hose. Uh, wall sleeve. Okay, insulation maybe goes in there. Let's say some uh, Plastic sand. It's a, we used to call that monkey trap. <laughs> There's a sleeve for the thimble. And a roll of tape, which I just dropped in the dirt to uh, tape the lines up. And there's the unit. Get the inside unit, see how that looks. Just gonna pop this one open and take a look. I'm not gonna take it all out because I don't want this inside. So just want to get a general look before it. Template, remote holder, this must be the rubber feet for the outdoor part. Uh, more drain line, remote control, and 
This general looks a power cable to go between the inside and the outside. Everything appears to be in okay shape from what I can tell here. So, all right, I'm gonna get putting her in. Now, a couple days ago, I made those brackets. The well, same day I ordered the thing, I guess, because I downloaded the manual, read through all that, and had the measurements. This is where I decided to put it. Um, it's going to be for cooling the living room to replace that noisy thing there. And so today I've got the brackets mounted, and I've got the electric wire run, and that box came today the disconnect box so now I am mounting the plate on the wall inside and gonna drill a hole through where the uh, pipes and the wiring come out through and it'll probably be my luck that it comes out right in a joint <laughs> but we'll see Got the hole out through and the unit mounted on the wall inside. And believe it or not, it came out just below the bottom of the, the siding there. So I got lucky. So now I got to run the, the lines and the wiring from that point down to the unit which I've got mounted on the brackets. Got her all installed, just waiting for my gauge set to come so I can evacuate it. It was all ordered at the same time, and the original I'm going to get it date was all the same time, but for some reason that gauge is taking a week instead of two days like it said. So I'm anxiously waiting. Oh, in the cover set for that line set. They're both supposed to be here on Tuesday, I think it was. Now my gauge set finally came. <clears throat> so vacuum pump's been running for about 45 minutes. And it's been sitting for about, <clears throat> I shut it off about 15 minutes ago. So I'll see if she's still holding vacuum. Yep, I'd say we're good. Get the reflection so you guys can see. So I guess it's time to let the refrigerant out of the outside unit. Now yeah, I got her all done. Got the uh, outside guard over the uh, pipes and wires. And last night it was down to about 46, 47 degrees. So I set it on heat, set it for 70, and uh, when I got up this morning, it was 70 degrees, like it's supposed to be. It was making heat when needed. Now it's on uh, AC mode, and I see it's it's come on. So we're making cool air now. Everything seemed to go well with the exception of taking forever to ship them, from what they told me. <laughs> and I'm happy with it. It seems like a pretty good quality unit. It's quiet. It uh, does everything it's supposed to. Right now it's using about 400 watts. Of course it's running off the uh, solar stuff. Inverter and uh, the instructions that come with it are plain, clear, easy to follow, and they're not in translated Chinese, it doesn't seem. <laughs> um, and I can't find on it where it says made in China anywhere. I'm assuming it must be, or a good share of it is, but uh, everything seems to be good, so 
you know, he's only in it for two days running, so I can't say for longevity, but I'm liking it so far. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now there's a quick shot at the inside unit. It's running right now.